What's up, Bombshells? Welcome to Bombshell 1111 Podcast, Therapy for Women of Color. My name is Kia, and I'm your host. Generally, podcasts request donations, but I want you to show love by simply subscribing to my social media platforms by visiting my website at www.bombshell1111podcast.com. I want to see thousands of subscribers on this platform. Leave your comments and I'll show love by shouting you out on my social media platforms such as Instagram and Facebook. I want to thank you for your continued support as always. And with that being said, let's jump into this new episode. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much. My name is Andrea Mason, your global voice, your first choice, alumna of Dr. Les Brown, ready to drop some bombs, 1111. Why? Because 1111 are also my angelic numbers of when I came to America, which went from victim to victorious. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, Thank you so much for coming on. I'm so happy to hear that. Now I see why you said what you said. (laughs) <laughs> well, welcome back, Bombshells. I'm Kia, and I'm your host tonight, and we'll be talking about personal development with our special guest, Andrea. So without further ado, you guys, let's get right into it, Bombshells. Welcome, 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 Andrea. How are you? I'm doing well, Kia. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. Um, thank you for coming. Welcome. I'm so happy that you decided to come on and be a part of the podcast and share your knowledge and tools with the audience um, because you definitely have a lot of experience, great experience at that. So I'm so happy you decided to come on and be a part of the podcast. Absolutely. The pleasure is all mine. Thank you. You're welcome. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. So at the beginning of the podcast, Down below, there's going to be a description of who you are, what you do and things like that. But I always like to formally give a short description of who you are, your expertise, what you do um, before we get into our our topic for tonight. So can you just give us a short description? Absolutely. Yes. So again, my name is Andrea Mason, alumna of Dr. Les Brown, as well as your personal accountability coach in the path less traveled of press. Play, Plan Life According to You, LLC. And a little bit about me is I have over two decades plus in social work psychology, as well as degrees, as well as Amazon's number one bestseller for an international anthology contribution. And to prepare, my book is coming up, coming out shortly for the unveiling, which I will announce at the end of the show. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, you're more than welcome, and congratulations on your upcoming book. Congratulations. Thank you, yes. Um, so we're gonna talk about personal development tonight, and you know, people have different definitions of what personal development is and what it means to them. But in your professional um, opinion, can you give us a, de- a definition of per- personal development? Absolutely. So when we are younger, our story is told to us, but at one point and at what point do we take the pen in our own hand? And so I believe and have experienced through my own life's journey that personal development is when you overcome something or achieve something that you've gone through, it gives you the certification to help others go through it too, as well as overcoming your adversities and creating your own personal identity. And that's what life is about, going through the trials and tribulations and turning them into triumphs. And so, Andrea, there are several topics that kind of fall, fall under personal development umbrella. Uh, but there are five, you know, basic categories, um, in which I know you probably know. But for the audience, for you guys who um, aren't familiar with the five categories, they are mental, social, spiritual, physical, and emotional. But my question for you, Andrea, is do you feel as if one is more important than the other? 
You know what, Kia? I believe that they're all interconnected because I don't believe there's an actual sequence because it's everybody's what makes us different makes us unique. And it's all about the experience, the journey. And through the mental, the emotional, the physical, and the spiritual, we're constantly changing, we're constantly evolving. So I believe every story is customized and authentic, but we all fall into the category and that chapter of where we are in life. It's just a matter of, are we ready to turn the page or stay where we are? Mm, I agree. I agree. And you know, and when it comes to personal development, the first thing that, you know, you generally think about, um, are accomplishing goals, are, are working towards goals. Um, does an individual short term actions have to align with their long term goals when it relate, when it relates to personal development, you feel? You know, that is a great question because that's what I used to think. Mm -hmm. I would look at the huge picture and just say, oh my goodness, this is overwhelming. There's so much to figure out. But the late great Bob Proctor was one of my virtual coaches I studied in The Secret. And he says oh, wow, yeah. that, you know, thoughts become things. Mm. And it takes baby steps. And I said, as long as you just take the first step, it's all about being proactive as, opp as opposed to being inactive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. So in, in, in your work experience over the years, um, Andrea, what should be the first step that a person should take um, for someone who is seeking to improve in areas such as personal development? Absolutely. Great question. And this is something that I, I, I really stamp of approval that I've learned is forgiveness. And there was a quote by Louis B. Smead's paraphrase stating that in order to forgive, one must set the prisoner free only to realize the prisoner is me. And it's just the healing power of forgiveness is not only forgetting. I'm not saying that at all, but forgiving understanding that the individual was at that time maybe not in the right state of mind either witnessed or experienced it or had it done to them and we must forgive them but most importantly we must forgive our reflection of ourselves to not give that power to another individual so i believe the pathway to achieving success and personal and professional development any realm is to first to forgive and, and for and you, and you speak on forgiveness, and I, and I know that's something that a lot of um, say that that's the first step in, in doing anything, and in, in, in the first step towards any part of healing. Um, but for people who you may tend to struggle with that, what are some suggestions or tips that you would give in order for them to be able to make that first step towards working towards forgiving? Absolutely. And through my childhood, I was a victim of abuse and bullying by my peers. See, what they don't know is I came from an up and coming development country of that of Colombia, South America during the cartel. Mm. And so I was adopted into an unconditionally loving Americanized family. And what was difficult for me was fitting in. And I didn't understand how what was the missing piece and I had to realize the first step into forgiveness and to healing is allowing yourself to feel. Make sure you're aware of your emotions. What is it that you're upset about? What is it that the incident or individual has done? And then step out of it. Base yourself on the source. Was it intentional? Was it your misconception or perspective? Or are you able to say, you know what, maybe I did deserve that. Maybe I had brought it upon myself. But again, it's that unveiling, Kia, that we have to come to come to terms with our reflection. Mm -hmm. And that not we don't stand and settle in the past. Because if we don't face our past, quite honestly, our past will continue to chase us. I totally agree with that. Totally. And I think that's so important to um, for individuals to work on that shadow work that, you know, we tend to not want to address and um, turn a, a blind eye to. I think it's just really important for us to address that as well um, in order to move towards that path of healing, um, Andrea. So I totally agree with you. So let's talk about you and your actual work that you do with clients and things of that nature. What specific 
tools or techniques do you use when you're working with your clients? Absolutely. So I have degrees in both social work and psychology over two decades working from the populations of infancy all the way to geriatric, homeless, institutionalized, those who were in have performed the heinous of crimes. And I delved into looking at the individual as a family member, a uncle, a daughter, a sister, rather than the diagnosis and prognosis that was given to them on paper. I put aside the labels and stigmatism because when I was going through my journey, that I was compartmentalized. And I said I was going to be the face of change of mental health and personal and professional development. So what I tended to do was look at the individual, humanity. I brought it back to life and I was able to connect with them. And as I have evolved, I started realizing some of the key components of individuality, authenticity, and acting with integrity, going back to those morals, ethics, and roots, is to first allow yourself to see things at you know, the surface, then go deeper and explore. And then what I was able to do, the two key components is accountability and responsibility. Mm. And those are the key components that allow us to thrive. It's uncomfortable, but sometimes we have to be comfortable with the uncomfortable to grow. You know what? I made a mistake. There's no such thing as perfection, just constant steps towards progression. I like that. I always tell people, and I'm learning that I had to learn that and still learning that. And sometimes you have to be uncomfortable to be comfortable. Right. Yeah. I, I love that. I love, I love how you said that. Um, so let's talk about your coaching services. How do you provide your services? Are they in, in person or online, both? And if one wants to get connected to you for services, how would they be able to do that? Absolutely. So I do both virtual globally. I also do in person group or, you know, family based. And what I made my mission was is not to dictate lecture, nor, you know, teach. I'm here to walk beside you on this journey. I'm not better or worse. I've been at different chapters, as I mentioned before, in this book of life that we're all living. And so I provide services customary where the individual's at. And I bridge that gap and sharpen the lens of their perspectives. Hey, you know what? Your whole life, you were said either A or B. Let's refocus and look at options C, D, E, 3, C, D, E, F through Z. Mm -hmm. And then allows them to say it because a lot of times we just react as opposed to respond to individuals. We just talk to be heard, not to be listened to. And we respond, we react for a reaction. So I effectively communicate and I effectively listen and really dig deep and just say, you know what, how are you? And I truly mean that because I'm here to service you. At some point in my life, I've walked in your shoes, maybe not the same experiences, but different situations. Mm -hmm. And so what I tagged was anything you go through gives you the certification to help others overcome it too. And oh, yeah. that's what I truly believe in my heart of hearts. Oh, I believe that too. I love that. Oh my God. That's very powerful. I, I love that. I love Thank that. You. So is, do you feel as if there's anything that I missed tonight that you'd like to share with the listening audience, Andrea? I just want people to remember the most important thing in life is to remember you're building a legacy and what is the legacy you lead and it should include love and to follow your heart not the hurt nor the herd for success and happiness and joyfulness are on the other side and before we get out of here tonight i all want to spend a couple of minutes talking about your new book tell us about yes. that Yes. So I, I had mentioned I did an excerpt of an anthology. This book is a guide, a stepping tool of not textbook material. It's a journey through my life of trials and tribulations, and it's in eight stages. And it's just how I have gone to successfully achieve personal freedom through the healing power of forgiveness in my community, in my workplace, and in my life that 
no matter what you do, you can either be a victim of abuse, bullying, but most importantly, of your own mindset. And once you allow and follow the steps, you can achieve personal freedom. And where would your book be available, Andrea? Yes, it is available at Amazon. So you can find it there under Andrea Mason. The official launch is coming soon. So the soft opening will be within the next couple of days. Oh, congratulations on that. I wish you the best on your future endeavor. I know that you. you will prosper. Thank you so much. It's an honor and privilege to be here. You're more than welcome. And so, Angela, how can the listening, I'm sorry, how can the listening audience get connected to you for services or just more information or just to stay in touch with you to, you know, stay up to date with what you got going on? Absolutely. So it could be found on most media handles, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. I have successfully over achieved a thousand videos on YouTube accessible to my audience just for material as I am always a woman of integrity and pay it forward. And my website can be found www at Andrea Mason's plural because somebody took Mason dot com and I welcome you and your community a gift go to gift on my website and I will honor and privilegely give you a gift of my time my presence for a consultation complimentary to you oh thank you so much Andrea that's very much appreciated gratitude thank you thank thank yes. you thank you You're and most so welcome you guys that brings us to the end of this episode. We want to thank Andrea tonight for joining us. We hope that you were able to hear something very, very beneficial to you. And with that being said, thanks for listening. And always remember, you are a bond within your own shell. Peace, love, and light, you guys. Until next time. Hey. If you enjoyed this podcast, please make sure you subscribe so you're notified when a new episode is posted. Rate, review, and share this podcast with your family and friends. Thanks so much for listening, and I hope you're leaving with some valuable information that can help you on your personal journey. Also, check us out on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at Bombshell1111 or at Bombshell1111 TV. You can also check out our mental health page, Your Health is Your Wealth, on Facebook, which is a page created to inform and support individuals with mental health and other health conditions. And with that being said, always remember, you guys, you are a bomb within your own shell. And until next time, peace, love, and light.